Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this video, let's talk about one of the Muay Thai techniques we have in our curriculum, which is the push kick. Okay, so when we talk about the push kick, referred as the teep in Muay Thai, I want to talk about some of the variations we like to use. Okay, so first one is, and this is great for beginners, and we use it all along as the low push kick, right? So we're gonna do everything with the lead leg and also our rear leg as well, okay? So the low push kick is gonna be at the quadriceps. So right here, Alex is gonna lift and just like gauge that distance. Sometimes we use this just like a foot jab and we just kinda like bug the opponent like this, right? Kinda like keep him at bay. So every time he's here, now I have a distance where he can't hit me, right? So just keep that range. It's almost like boxers when they start to fight, they'll just time that jab. It's not necessarily a powerful jab, but it's more like distance, right? Distance management, and they get their range, and eventually their timing, and then the combos start to flow. In Muay Thai, we'll do the same thing with that lead push kick, where we just get that range and timing, and I will start to tap the leg a little bit like this, all right? So we just want to hit on the quadricep and never hyperextend the knee, all right? So right we go. Boom. And the same thing with the back leg, push kick. And again, push kick. Now notice how we have this rhythm. Every time we use kicks, we want to have that nice rhythmic fashion of doing our kicks. Let me show you. I'll go one, two, three, see? And then boom. One, two, three, and boom. One, two, three, and boom. One, two, three, and boom. All right, that's the rhythm we want. All right, so sometimes we'll just tap it on the pads. We'll do low push kick. And again, once again. And on the rear leg, one more. There you go. So just to train, of course, we're not gonna use it with full power when we're just practicing, but this is good because you wanna get that timing. So the next kick we're gonna show you guys is the regular push kick. Now we're gonna go more into the middle, right? Right where the abdomen is. So his lead leg push kick now is gonna hit me right into the belly. Boom, right here. So we use the belly pad to train this because it gives him a nice target. As the trainer, I wanna have my focus mitts busy so I can have my hands up to replicate the same stance I'm gonna have as his opponent, but also to open up some combos when we want to mix it up with our hand techniques as well. Okay, so lead push kick. Once again. One more, and then if we do the back push kick, one more, good, all right? So now, he wants to focus on raising the knee up. Every time you do a push kick, you wanna lift the knee up and then extend your foot and bring your knee back and not plant your foot in front. So a common mistake when people do, especially the back push kick, is they'll lift the knee and then just Deposit the foot right in the front of them instead, all right? So you want to bring your knee back. As I push kick here, boom, and I bring it back here. So boom, and then I bring it right back, okay? So Alex, back push kick. See that knee again? And lead push kick. One more. And that is the middle teep. All right, one more detail I want to add is when we do our push kicks sometimes, because usually we'll do these uh, to open up a combo, for example, maybe like a hand technique or a swing kick. But other times we'll use it defensively. So the nice thing about kicks is they can be used both offensive and defensive. All right, so for example, if he sees me rushing in, maybe let's say with a right hand or a right hook, he might just use that kick as a defensive maneuver, like a stop kick. So if he sees the hook coming, and just intercept, right? Other times we'll raise the hand and put it in the way like this. See? So he blocks the punch, but also intercepts me with his lead push kick. Again, right? One more. Beautiful. So we can use this as a jamming kick, like a stop kick. All right? So this is a good technique to have in your arsenal for offensive and defensive tactics. Okay, now sometimes we'll use the push kick. Maybe Alex, for example, if he was in the Muay Thai ring and his back is against the ropes, now he's jammed up where he can't move backwards anymore. So if I start to put a little bit too much pressure, he's gonna use that foot jab to push me away and just keep that distance, right? It's almost like a shove. So as I get a little bit closer, just jams me away. Again, see, as he sees me moving forward, 
and keeps me at bay. That way there he could sidestep to the side, get out of the corner, or start offensive techniques of his own. Now another variation of the push kick we'll seldom use, but it's still an effective technique, is the high push kick. So this one here we're going to tip right into the face. Okay. So there's something about Muay Thai that needs to be said is we usually don't push kick into the face. If you look at you know, Thai fighters a lot of times, they're not going to push kick their opponents um, in the face because in Thai culture, the bottom of the foot is a dirty part of your limbs, right? So it's almost disrespectful to place the bottom of your foot onto someone's face, all right? But when uh, Thai fighters get supercharged against some of their uh, foreigners, sometimes this kick will still happen. Now, I want to show the technique nevertheless because it is an effective technique to use. I like to use the front kick to the face, but also the push kick. Today we're talking about that push kick. So I'm going to show you how we do this. So Alex is going to go lead front kick, or I should say push kick to the face right here. See? So it's just, you're pushing the chin, just like a foot jab, right? So here, and again, and if he does his back foot, it's going to be the same thing, but this one has a little bit more power. So he goes here, and that's his push kick to the chin. And notice how I'm holding right where my chin is. And of course, I'm taller than Alex, so he has good flexibility. And that's his aim right here. That's his push kick. So lead push kick to the face and back. Perfect. One more detail I want to add is every time you do your rear leg push kick, you always want to make sure you return into your natural stance. All right, last but not least, I want to cover the lean back. The lean back push kick, that's how I like to refer to it. It's the same push kick, it's just that this one, we're going to put a little bit more jolt into it. Watch this. So as he pushes, now he's going to lean his upper body back into the kick. Boom! And this one is going to really drive your hips. Imagine you're bridging into that kick. So again, and why do we use this? Because sometimes we know that push kick is going to land, and we really want to push the opponent away. All right, so if he puts more power into it, See, it almost takes me right off balance, and I'm much heavier than Alex. So back push kick has even more power, and he really brings the upper body behind. See, really jams me in, and bring your shoulders back, Alex. See, really drive the hip forward to propel the power. So this is very effective sometimes, let's say against punches. So he's going to time that punch and push kick. See, I can't reach, but he has more power into his push kick. Again. And on the back leg, one more, that way there he can evade the punch, but also intercept me with a strong frontal push kick. All right guys, we're going to get back to our training session, but quick tutorial on how to do the basic push kicks in Muay Thai. Guys, leave us a like. And if you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Until next time. See you guys in the next Muay Thai video. Take care.